My name is Mary Ketteman. Uh, I'm Sergeant First Class John Ketteman's wife. My name is John Ketteman, retired Sergeant First Class, United States Army. My name is Nicholas McClintock and I'm the son of former Sergeant First Class John Ketteman. My first initial thought whenever he joined the military when he first did it was that he was joking. I didn't take it too seriously. And then um, we had talked about it prior to when he, uh, when we first got married. And then the next thing I know, there's a little short uh, recruiter standing at the front door saying, I'm here for your husband. Basic training for me was very difficult. I missed my family. I had a wife and two small boys. I missed being away from home. I had a bit of a bad attitude, so basic training initially wasn't very easy. Uh, once I figured out that I had to change my, my mentality and thinking and conform with the values of the Army, I enjoyed basic training very much. I learned a lot of basic skills that was made me successful as a soldier. It was like when John was deployed, uh, it wasn't easy, it was very hard. Uh, it was, especially whenever the, because the boys were uh, preteens. Um, we missed him a lot and it was hard. We did, you know, we Skyped, we, you know, wrote letters, postcards, photos, you name it. We pretty much did it just to stay connected as a family. Deployment for me was twofold. First, I missed my family. It's very difficult to be away from your family for a year. It's just not normal to be away from your family that long. Uh, and to be in a third world country where you really don't know anybody. Uh, especially at the holidays, it was very difficult. I missed my family very much. But on the other side, it was very awesome to be able to help do humanitarian missions, uh, help the local populace with their livestock, and give them medical treatment that was much needed to help keep them alive. Dad's deployment for me was, it was hard. I mean, because, I mean, me and the boys, we always grew up with, you know, Every now and then he'd be gone to the field for a week or two at most and then he'd be back and he was never that far off. So if he actually needed to be home, he could get home. But I think what made it hard was he was so far away and I was just so used to always having him at home and always being able to talk to him and see him. And then it just, it changed and it was... It made things hard. The hardest part about being a spouse to someone that is in the military is the constant worry. The You're always watching them leave. Um, I always heard that it takes a special kind of someone to be a spouse to a person in the military. Growing up in the Army and just being around the military in general was, it was different. It wasn't like, you know, most people's childhood or how they grew up. We moved around a lot. We went to a lot of different schools. We met a lot of different people and experienced a lot of things that not many people got to. Uh, in the Army, I did receive some awards. I received five Meritorious Service Medals. I received two Army, Army, Army Commendation Medals, an Army Achievement Medal, and a Joint Service Achievement Medal. My first thought um, when John said he was going to retire was that uh, I was I was relieved but yet worried at the same time because uh, the military is the only life that we've ever known um, when you you've done it for so long and you become accustomed to certain things and being around certain things and hearing things and it's like it all just gets taken away and initial thought when dad told me he was retiring and then when it actually happened when he actually retired it was weird because, I mean, I always, always woke up or went about my day knowing that he was on post or he was at the academy or he was at the hospital that he happened to be working at that where we were stationed. So, you know, thinking now that every time I see him, he's, he's not in uniform, he's not a part of the army anymore it's it's kind of weird but i mean i know he's happy to finally be retired after giving 21 years i retired was i could no longer physically keep up with the demands of my job or with the younger soldiers and i always said when i couldn't keep up with the 20 year old soldiers 
I would retire. So for me, it was primarily a physical reason. Now, since he's retired, and um, I do a lot of crafting. Um, I have a whole entire craft room to myself. I have, um, you name it, I got it. I got yarn, um, fabric, paint. Um, uh, my husband has, and my kids have bought me stuff throughout the years that I've just kept. And people have given me stuff, and I've... Um, I've made curtains, I've made um, costumes for the boys when they were little, I've um, just, I can take something old and turn it into something new, so that's, I think that's what I love about crafting, it's just, the sky's the limit and I can do what I want. Since I've retired and I've been ingrained in retirement, I feel like we've come twofold. Uh, we've moved back to Southern Illinois where we started from, I'm back to working as a nurse. Uh, I'm near a family where we can see our loved ones whenever we want, have Sunday dinners. I picked up some woodworking skills. I love building tables, uh, chairs, just doing small uh, projects for my wife and her craft room. I enjoy fishing. I'm looking forward to getting to do a lot of hunting. I'm just enjoying having time for myself now. Now that I only work 80 hours a day, I have time to enjoy just being alive. A lot of things were that me and my dad are able to do together now that you know he's retired and he has you know more time to spend with the family he's been the one that's helped me and pushed me to get in better shape to enlist with the navy which a few days ago i finally did so him being able to work out with me and push me and motivate me that's definitely one of the things that we're able to do and together and frequently now that he's retired. One thing I would probably tell somebody if they were considering joining the military is prepare yourself, prepare your family so that they know the, if there's information out there about the military for you to learn, learn it because it will only help you later and it will help your families understand the, the because they don't always tell you um, what's entailed with being in the military.